<laughs> so what did you forget, honey? I forgot the eggshells. <laughs> So we're going to be making suet cakes out of the cracklings, some of the lard. Um, we've got sunflower seeds that we've dumped into this mix and also some herbs. What we've done is we've taken our own herbs. Except for these three. Except for these three. Yeah, we can't give them these. That's salt. <laughs> these are have a lot of salt in them. Um, and we've looked up every one of these herbs to make sure that they're good for chickens but these are herbs that i've had around that are getting too old i don't really want to use them so we're going to give them to the chickens the chickens will eat them and the cracklings is also good for them you can see down in here we've got the sunflower we got some of the uh the red soil where Amy, that was dehydrated, and she used it to make my tea. I made him a batch of tea today, so it's got the some in so there. So this has all kind of herbs. It has sunflowers in this. And all those herbs that we just showed you. There's all, we're going to have this all mixed in with it, and it'll be a really good treat for uh, the chickens. We had been making, just taking the cracklings and tossing them out to the chickens. And they go absolutely nuts out of them. And this is good for the winter time because this puts some fat on them. It keeps them a little warm. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to show you here in a second how we seal up our lard jars. All right. So what I do is we use a canning funnel. I use my strainer with cheesecloth in it. And I just put my, the jars have been in the oven um, on 250 degrees for about 15 minutes to bring it up to temperature so it doesn't bust. Now we are using the pig lard for a couple different things. Uh, one, Donald loves cooking on his cast iron skillets. So we have a couple of them now and we he uses this to season his skillets. And then the other thing we use them for is our deep fryer. Um, now we don't deep fry a lot of things, but every now and then, you know, we all get in the mood where we want like French fries or chicken nuggets or chicken fingers or fish sticks and we'll make them homemade but then we'll use the lard um, for that so and you're almost to the top baby yeah all right do you have a um a thing over there here, I'll hold it. Grab some paper towels. Okay. <laughs> oh. I'm a camera woman and a handy woman. <laughs> All right, so that's what's left. Donald's gonna seal this up. And we gotta, we've been placing them here, but this is gonna be the very last jar of uh, pig Lord. lard. Yay, we're done with it. We've been going for days now. And then we just let that pop, and when it pops, I'll let it cool down overnight. It'll turn nice white color, and then I'll stick a label on it. That thing looks like it's about ready to pop. I can see it moving. This is what we end up with. Yeah, that's just one of the big jars of it. So... But we got enough lard to last us, what, a couple of years? <laughs> At least a year. All right, so now what do you have over here? All right. um, behind, what's this here, honey? All right. Now what I got is a just one of my glass baking dishes. And I put um, 
parchment paper? Parchment paper in here. This is a non-stick parchment paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the rest of this lard right into here. Listen to that crackling. Oh, the chickens are going to love this. Oh, the smell of this is amazing. Yeah, all those seasonings. <laughs> Shoot. But you know you can't eat any of it. No. Nope. It sure <laughs> smells good, though. I know. All the seasonings are cooking. Mm. How much more you got? It's almost empty. You get another one of these pot holders. Now remember, you don't have to, yeah, just take the, yeah, there you go. Woo! Stir it up. No. Careful, be very careful. Oh, yeah. I don't want you to burn yourself. Now, are we going to have to bake this? No. No? No, won't have to be baked. Cool. Now, you southern, you guys from the south, you guys are probably going to think I'm crazy giving all these cracklings to the... The chickens? The chickens, but... Oh, the turkeys might like this, too. Oh, yeah, and all the birds are like this. But we just, it's definitely not in our diet. <laughs> and, but I love cracklings, especially you put this... At, Put those cracklings and cornbread. Mm -mm -mm. Looks like the sunflower seeds are floating. <laughs> so now what are you going to do once this is all mixed up? Once this is all mixed up, I'm going right over to the... Uh, to the casserole? Yeah. All right. So We're making a chicken casserole. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we'll come back to you guys in a minute here. All right, guys, here we go. Get all of that goodness out of there. I'm actually kind of excited about making this. So what will happen now is we'll let the lard cool and by tomorrow we'll be able to make it up into cakes, right? We'll yep. be able to cut it up into little bars and then we can um, give it to the chickens. I would say because the... We're going to let this cool overnight and then what we'll do is uh, I'll cut it. And then we'll stick it in the freezer for it to freeze before we take it apart. And then we'll cut it into chunks and put it in baggies. Yeah. And keep it in the freezer. Keep it in the freezer. Do we have room in the freezer? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Between the two bigs and the 14 chick or turkeys we did. <laughs> but that's how easy it is, guys. So we just leftover stuff. Oh, that does smell good. Mm. So we'll show you what uh, the final product is in tomorrow. All right, we'll see y'all tomorrow. 
<laughs> so what did you forget, honey? I forgot the eggshells. <laughs> we had them sitting over here. <laughs> We're going to put some eggshells into this. <laughs> Extra calcium, right? Yeah. Good for the chickens. Well, it's a good thing it's still pretty hot, so. Yeah. But, yeah, so. Oh, you're making yep. a mess. <laughs> Two thousand years later. All right, guys. Here is our suet cakes or lard cakes, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> this is so. I think this is the weirdest thing we've uh, made. made for the chickens. So. so it's been what in the free well it's been a few days so it's been in the freezer for a few days as you can tell it's hard um and we got the eggshells in it and all the ingredients i'm wondering if we should have scored it before we put it into the freezer mm, i don't know we'll see how easy it cuts well actually it's not too bad. easy nope. yeah, it kind of breaks a little bit but okay that's fine that's all right they don't have to be perfectly square yeah the chickens aren't going to care now here's two well you want to cut them further because no i want to cut it. this is it'd be a good size to put out for them for them yeah i think anyways well okay i was just thinking if we cut them a little bit smaller i can put them in different areas so that way a <clears throat> That way, um, you can try to cut it in half. Yeah. yeah, that way all the chickens don't go at it at one time. I can put, you know, one in one corner, one in another corner, and split them up a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, it still smells good. <laughs> yeah, it actually does. It's, it's like, um, it's almost like a pizza spaghetti sauce type smell. Yeah. <laughs> it's got an it Italian smell. Well, it's seasoning to go. It has just about everything in yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, here. And we got a freezer Ziploc bag. Okay, you go. So you can put some in there, honey. That way you got room. Before I make a mess. Oh, you already made a mess. You made mess mess. Yeah, we probably ought to score it first before we froze it. Yeah, well, it's not that bad, actually. No, it's not too bad. But we we can put the crumbs in the um, compost bucket. Yeah. And then that way, uh, yeah, switch spots. It looks like it got down in the layers, layered pretty good, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, it smells good. They are going to go crazy for this. Yeah. Probably going to have to get another Ziploc bag, honey. Okay. Yeah, this will be a nice, cool little treat for them. Oh, I can't um, wait. In the summertime, too. Yeah. It'll be like chicken ice cream. <laughs> chicken Rocky Road. Chicken Rocky Road. Does it feel like it's melting fast, or? No. Oh yeah, they're gonna love this. It's definitely interesting looking. Yeah, it really is. 
Well, that lard got into everything, so that's a good, I mean, that, that means it worked, you know, mm. it, it's, that's going to be so cool. Yeah, we'll just take whatever the crumbs off of this and we'll just put in the compost bucket. Mm. And then that way we'll just add it to that. All right, so now we're just going to get as much air out as we can and we're going to put it in the freezer. And then we'll just um, give them to them as treats every now and then. And then we've got enough to hold us over for a while. What do you think you're doing? Finally came back, huh? There's my number one troublemaker. One of Rocky's girls. The other one, I have no idea what happened to her. But she's constantly... Does not want to follow the crowd. There's the troublemaker. <laughs> At least she came back from the neighbors. <laughs> at it. Well, they're liking it. Definitely a success. See what you're missing when you don't follow the leaders? <sighs> Troublemaker. Has Stupid tried it yet? No. Well, I guess it's a success. Cool. Hey guys, if you like that video, hit that like button, remember that bell, and subscribe. And if you want to see any of the other videos, check out everything over here.